Daughter Holly Holm. This a super important for these individuals. A lot on the line here. Holly Holm has not stood still since she walked out. She was in the octagon pacing back and forth. She is so fired up for this. I can't think of a time when I've seen her more focused and fired up Holly Holm, which makes for a very interesting bout. She looks in absolutely impeccable condition as she normally does. But look at that frown of Kohea. Yeah. She has a real smell when she's fired up, when she's angry. Holly Holm is very good at hiding that, but in her body language and in her posture right now, you can see how much more fired up she is. But it's interesting, Kohea actually believes that she's been rewarded for that honesty and that straightforward, hard-working ethic wearing your heart in your sleeve type approach she thinks it's a champion's quality she learned so much from that loss to ronda rousey the experience alone it was so high profile it's setting her up to really try and you know go through the gears in her ufc career now this is interesting john i'm not sure whether to make the first move which which is a good game plan, really, because Holly Holmes is the counter-striker here. She's the one that likes to wait for you to move forward, and then she will punish you with it. You can see how she's using those feints. She's trying to draw an attack from Betch Kohea, which at the moment she's not getting. So as we saw, when the cards came up, minus 600 favourites for Holmes. Mixed martial arts. We're talking about a very, very prolific boxing career as well. So it just shows how much, not only how much confidence she has in, in Mike Winkle, John, but also how good he is as a coach to take someone from a beginning to a championship. And just to, just to go on from that point, recent results, she thinks, almost reflect on her coaches. She wants to reward them with the victory. She was so upset with what happened uh, with Jermaine Durandami, but she's put it behind her. However, coming in tonight, it's, it is fighting for them to show their investment in her. See, and that's a good mentality as well, because a lot of fighters, if they lose a couple of fights, they go, I need to switch my training camp. Yes. Is the coach tied up and more emotional? And she doesn't tend to... Oh! Listen, ladies, I respect the game plan. I respect the game plan and what we're trying to do. We're going to have to make something happen, OK? Let's make contact. Okay, Let's go. A warning for Brilliant. timidity, Dan. Great referee by Mark Goddard. I respect the game plan, but we've got to make something happen. Very to the point. So much at stake, Dan. I mean, we're talking about a champion and a former title challenger. This is it. The, the, oh, spin it back first. I mean, at this level, John, at the, at the, you know, with such high stakes, there are careers on the line here, you know. A, a win here propels them forward to the title and a loss sets them back a long way. So you understand that tentative nature in their, in their approach. Plus, obviously, with it being a five-round fight, people do feel that there's a bit more of time for a feeling out process, whereas the three rounds, you're in, you've got to get it done. Yes, and Holly Holm, very much accustomed to fighting over five rounds. Her conditioning has never, ever been in question. Oh, work in the body kick there. She looks a little cautious in closing the distance with punches here, which surprises me. And if anything, it's almost leaving her open because she's stepping in with punches, but before she's actually executed her own technique, she's already pulling her head out. She's already expecting Betch Oh, interesting. the distance. Now we Locks saw that. Her hands. Last 10 seconds. Holly Holm immediately backs up to the fence. Such high takedown defense in her record as well. 77% takedown defense for Holm. Let's make it happen, girls. Let's go. Round number three. And Betch Cahaya came into this fight saying she didn't feel like Holly Holm is evolving at the same rate at which she is. Nice kick. Even though it was to the forearm and Betch blocked it. Still a lot of power in it. Despite any kind, well, I can't even call it a war of words because Holm really just wasn't willing to engage in any back and forth. The consummate pro that she is, she is all business. It's all about herself. Concentrate on what she can affect. 
it, it's an interesting comment that Betts Gohea made about the fact that she's improving at a, yes. a, a quicker rate. But you have to think that although their records in mixed martial arts are relatively the same, you know, 12 fights to 13 fights, Holly Holmes, a seasoned boxer, she's been doing this a long time, so she's she's much more settled in her style of fighting. Even though she's crossed over to mixed martial arts, she's employing a lot of the same techniques that she did in boxing. Whereas Betch Kohea is new to this sport, she's a new athlete, so she's constantly learning, adding new things to her game. Oh! oh! Preacher's daughter stopped her dead in her tracks. Betts went down and she was sat a one punch to finish the job. Amazing. Perfect timing. That is how you finish the fight and put it beyond the reach of the judges. That, ladies and gentlemen, is perfect technical execution. Constantly pumping the punch, setting up for the head kick. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at that again. What a fantastic knockout finish. So here we go. Holly Ho moving around. Benz Kohea calls her on. Holly faints. She's going to faint again. Bang! There's the head kick right across the face on the business end of a Holly Ho shin. There was no more needed to be done in that situation. Beautiful finish. Look at that. Benz Kohea put an arm up. She was done. She knew she was finished, even though she was only semi-conscious. That sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're waiting for when we see these tentative game plans where they're feeling each other out, they've spotted an opening, and they're waiting for it to present itself. And there it was. Beautiful finish for Holly Ho, who fires herself back into relevance in the bantamweight division. Picture-perfect kick there from Holly.